Hi, I'm Kelly Hurd. I'm a solution architect with the global commerce team here at Sitecore, and I'm going to be taking you through the pricing and promotions engine uh, for Sitecore Commerce 821. I'm using update one in this particular walkthrough, uh, but it would also apply to uh, our latest release of update two. So pricing and promotions are now accessible through the Sitecore Launchpad uh, in comparison to uh, versions previous to 821. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. The pricing engine is broken up into uh, a couple of key concepts. So we talk about a price book. Uh, a price book is what uh, contains all of the different pricing information for a particular catalog. So I can uh, create multiple price books, uh, associate or have different pricing information associated to different catalogs across different price books. Once inside the price book, uh, we then define uh, one or more price cards. Uh, and the price book itself, this is where you would define uh, or associate it to one or more catalogs. So you can see I've got uh, three catalogs in the current solution, um, and I've associated my price book to two of these uh, three catalogs. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new price card. I'm going to call it Through pricing, description, display name, we'll just add a space there. Okay, so that's succeeded. We're going to go into our price card. Now, once inside the price card, this is where you create uh, specific snapshots uh, that would actually define the pricing information uh, for the price card itself. I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to pick yesterday's date. So once I have a snapshot, I'm going to go ahead and add a um, add some pricing information. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a couple of price tiers as well. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to add a price tier of one hundred and thirty dollars. $30, I'll add another tier, you buy five of them, you pay 125, you buy 10 of them, you pay 120. So basically what I've done here is if I add to, uh, if I add uh, one of these items to my basket, I'll pay 130. If I add five or more, I'll pay uh, 125. And of course, if I or, uh, order 10 or more, um, then I'll pay 120 per item. I'm going to go ahead and add a second one for uh, my uh, additional currency. Okay, so once we've got our uh, pricing approved, um, the next step would be to go to the merchandising manager. The merchandising manager is where you'll go and you'll you'll associate that uh, pricing uh, information that we just created in the pricing and promotions manager. All right, so once on the details tab for the uh, product itself, um, I have access to edit all of my product information, including any extended fields. Uh, in this case, you see a default list price. So this is the fallback list price. If it doesn't find any other pricing information that we've defined in price cards, um, then it will fall back to this list price here. So in this case, we want to actually add our, uh, add our price. So we'll look for a price card. So you have the um, possibility of having many price cards. So the search capability here is, is uh, more ideal than using, uh, let's say, a drop down, for example. So we assign that and then we can, of course, go and, and actually see the, VT, uh, the details of our, of our price card here. So once I've saved the, uh, the changes by, uh, after adding the, uh, the price card, if I go into the pricing tab, uh, you'll see the, uh, the different prices that we've added here. And it doesn't show the tiers in this particular case, but you can see those details here if you want. Okay, so we've entered all of our pricing information. We've associated the, uh, the product to, a, uh, to the price card that we created. Uh, so now we're going to go to the site and see those changes reflected here. So I'm going to go ahead and just search for the item again. You can already see that we've got uh, our, our, our main price of $120 USD. So if I go and I click this, you can see that we've got uh, 120 USD as opposed to the list price of 157. Um, and if I go and I add this to the cart like this, go take a look at our cart. And 
And if I add a second one, actually let's just add five here. You can see that the Unit price has changed from uh, $120 to $115 because we've added five uh, or more of these items. Another thing we can do is we can, uh, under the, uh, the pricing header here, we can actually go and we can change the list price compared to the sell price and then have um, what we call ISWAS pricing. Um, so let's go ahead and just update this uh, list price to say 157. We'll click OK. We'll go back to our product details page. And you can see that we have our list price and our sell price displayed separately here. And this, of course, doesn't change the, the fact if I were to add, let's say, 10 of those to the cart. You can see that my unit price is is $100 because I purchased or added uh, more than 10 to my uh, to my cart. All right, that concludes our walkthrough on the uh, pricing system. Look for more walkthroughs on promotions as well as additional pricing scenarios. I'm Kelly Hurd. Thanks for watching.